a dirty road, working in every single state in our country. Isn't that weird? And that's an accomplishment that deserves something. Well, I do believe this may be a dirty job's first. Never in the uh, long and ridiculous history of this program if we actually come to a, a, a sound stage in Hollywood, and yet here we are for a very special occasion. Frankly, it creeps me out a bit. I'd be much more comfortable if it looked like a barn. Look at that. It's a miracle. Hollywood magic. I want a hay bale. I can have a hay bale. I want a window with a view. Boom, I got a window with a view. I can have anything I want. I want a monitor. I want one right back there. A bigger one. Give me a bigger one. Give me the biggest monitor you have. That's what I'm talking about. This is Scott, by the way. Are you ready? Ready for the enthusiasm of the art to wash over not just ourselves but literally dozens of viewers? Yes. Well, here it goes then. We ain't like that. If you got a dirty job and you're in a rut, and your arms inside of a bovine butt, the fella's mind will wander as he works. He might reflect on all he's seen, on where he's been, and what it means to search the country high and low for dirt. Oh, he might recall the times he froze, the times he bled, the times he chose to keep on working as though it were his fate. Until the day when he could say that his disgusting resume included dirt for every single state. It was a long and smelly odyssey that led from sea to shining sea at all the pits and sewers in between. I didn't set out to get dirty in all 50 states. It wasn't some sort of personal wish fulfillment. It was really just the symptom of a show that didn't know when to go away. I mean, I tried to stop it, honest to God, many times, but people kept writing in. Fans kept saying, hey, you should go here, you should go there, and pretty soon we found ourselves going here and there and everywhere. And I was crossing states off the list with a level of intensity that made me think for a moment that I might actually make it to all 50 without collapsing like a cheap card table. Well, this year it finally happened. I didn't collapse like a cheap card table. I got to all 50 states, which is why I'm here today on this Hollywood set on the verge of bursting in a song. When you're hanging high without a net at an altitude, you won't forget or jammed into a hole that's half your size. You might regret the path you took or give your boss a sideways look and wonder if the world will sympathize. But then you hear on the radio, unemployment is high, and the market is low, and pickings might be best described as slim. That's when a fella might conclude his attitude should be reviewed, because lots of people have got it worse than him. It was a long and smelly odyssey that led from sea to shining sea, and all the pits and sewers in between. saying that things couldn't be better out there. Hell, things could always be better. I'm just saying things could also always be worse. So if you're having one of those days where you feel like the boss is all over you, where you got the short end of the stick, or, you know, a little sorry for yourself, you might be well advised to consider the tale of Les Swanson from Wisconsin. That's Les up there right now. Love the guy. He's waist deep in waste. And that's what he does. He cleans septic tanks and he's really good at it and the thing is he really loves what he does which is why i love les swanson for that which is why i'm pretty sure if you think about less and the work he does there's probably a lesson in there somewhere you know when you sweat like that it almost looks like a tear uh, that's uh, tears of joy <laughs> when you're making steel in illinois or mining salt with chances boys or pulling cards from minnesota i that's nice Try to smile or maybe grin and celebrate the place you're in, even if it's California picking lice. And if you're hired to cast great sheep with nothing but your two front teeth, don't despair, just do the best you can. It might not feel exactly right, but my advice is take a bite. Thank your lucky stars, you're not the land. It was a long and smelly odyssey that led from sea to shining sea and all the pits and sewers in between. But in that mess, I must confess, I learned the secret of success had nothing to do with getting clean. Now, I've always been 
personally a little suspicious of role models, but if we have to have them, well then, why not some of the people featured in this show? I mean, do we really need another American Idol? How about some American icons, right? I'm talking about farmers, tradesmen, people who wake up every morning, walk outside, take a deep breath, and detect somewhere on the horizon an unmistakable stench, and then without thinking twice, happily walk off straight into the funk. You know who you are. You're the real stars of Dirty Cow. And I'm grateful to each and every one of you. When you smell like poop that's not your own or pulling flesh off cattle bones, please remember what I just conveyed. Because if you work outside of the box and your attitude's unorthodox, you're the reason Dirty Jobs was made. You are so kind of wacky chick. <laughs> now I hate to lie and I hate to boast, but the facts are clear, so I'll raise a toast to everyone who helped along the way. There was Dave and Doug and Jones and Troy, Amber and Dan and that other boy named Ryan. Y'all were underpaid. Wrap it up, boys. That's the crew who, along with you, provided the essential glue to keep me dirty all across the map. I thank you each for all you've done, for all the grime and all the fun. Y'all deserve a long and lengthy clap. And by clap, of course, I'm referring to a enthusiastic, sustained round of applause, not a sexually transmitted disease. Nobody deserves that. Not even Barsky. Carry on. It was a long and smelly odyssey that led from sea to shining sea and all the pits and sewers in between. But in that mess, I must confess, I learned the secret of success had nothing to do with getting clean. I said not one thing to do with getting clean. In other words, dirty is much more fun than more fun than clean. It's just a theory I have. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate it. We always like to leave the 